back to Jolie Knott's Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be unboxing some ice yarns. Before we get started with those ice yarns, I want to show you a few projects that I have upcoming and a couple of projects that were just done. I know most of you or all of you are still waiting on this cardigan. I can't see the whole thing in there, but there you go. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting for the perfect yarn. You know, I ordered some yarn that was like the scarfy yarn thinking that that's what this was but I think I just realized that it wasn't the scarfy yarn and it was premier puzzle yarn so first off if you know what the like from ice yarns is to premier puzzle yarns comment in the space below and let me know okay so this is still upcoming let me show you a couple of other things that I've got going on I did finish up this really cool one here. It is similar to the blanket cardigan, but it's hooded. I've got some buttons on there, pockets, and it fits really nice. And with the buttons on here, you can really customize it to how you want it to be worn. I've got a button here. So you can button it this way, just like that, and kind of leave it open on the top. It's still got a little slit on the bottom, something like this. And then of course you've got your hood, nice to oversized hood. But this is a really super bulky six weight yarn, and I didn't have enough to actually get started on a video. I like to write up my patterns first, create the project, write the pattern, make it again, create a video, get testers. There's a lot that goes on into it, okay? So hopefully if you guys like this, comment below and let me know. Otherwise, there's no reason to take care of it. And let me know what you guys think, all right? Next thing, okay, that's something that I would like to do upcoming. Next thing I've done, I have two different boho asymmetrical shawls. Now this one is done in a very lightweight one yarn. And then this one I made here is with a four weight yarn. The lightweight is with a four millimeter. The four weight yarn is with a six millimeter. And the idea of this is that it is asymmetrical. I want it to be asymmetrical. I don't want it to have the same exact thing on both sides. This is what you'll get. And you have the option to grow it, of course, as large as you want, as small as you want, use any yarn that you want. And that is the most ideal for everything that we do, right, is to customize it. And you guys know I like to customize my stuff. Next thing I have, okay. The next thing I have is also coming up. I'm working on two sweaters right now. The first one is with a bulky yarn. A nice, thick, gorgeous texture, just like that. And it's gonna be like a duster. So you've got really oversized, this will be the back. And the idea of it, this is that I've got part of the front and then part of it will hang down. So keep an eye out, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also let me know in the comments who wants this oversized duster cardigan. Okay, next. Oh, the other sweater that I'm working on, I've got part of the front panel done. I'm almost done with the front panel. And it's going to be a pullover. This is a lightweight three sport yarn. It'll be a not oversized, but more like sweatshirt size, I guess you'd say. And if you are interested in that, this is the yarn that I'm going to be using. It's the Bernat Baby Sport. Probably about one and a half of these for an extra large size. And now, have you guys watched the Ugly Christmas Sweater tutorial yet? I think it is so cute. I love it so much. I'm excited to be wearing it for all the Christmas gatherings. I think it is like a Santa hat, but it's more like a Christmas sweater. Check it out. 
Now let's get started with the unboxing. Now I got, I ordered these specific yarns because of Krista from The Secret Yarnery. I'll go ahead and leave her link below. She has a Match It Monday. Now she finds a yarn and then finds the similarity and she'll give you the prices. She'll give you the breakdown of everything so that you know what a great deal you're getting. And um, go ahead and take a look at her. Just, just search Secret Yarnery, Match It Monday and you'll find all of her Match It Mondays. I have not opened it yet, but I can tell you while I'm opening it, there are several reasons why I purchased these yarns. One, I wanna check them out. I wanna see how I like them. I wanna see if they'll work with the project that I have. Um, I think I ordered about six different yarns here and spent about $20 on shipping. So let's open them up and let's see what we've got here because I'm really excited. I was thinking that some of this yarn was gonna be really good for that first cardigan I showed you. I haven't even named it yet. So if you have a good name, leave a comment in the box below. But I don't think that it was actually the scarf yarn that I've been looking for. Like I said, I think it was Premier Puzzle. So we might have to put that one on hold again until I can get the right kind of yarn. The first yarn I got this time is Cakes Erin. The colors that I got are Orchid Purple, Turquoise, and Green Shades. I spend $13.98 for four cakes of this one. Oh, wow. It's very similar to the Cakes Blues as far as the way that it looks and the spin of it. These colors are fantastic. It is, it's spun the same way the Cakes Blues is, which I really, really liked. And the colors look unbelievable. Those are awesome. Hopefully I can find a project where I only need four cakes of these because otherwise I'm gonna need to order more and you guys are gonna have to wait again. Ah, the Cakes Erin is supposed to be very similar to the um, Karen Big Cakes, which I've never used, so I cannot speak for the similarity, but I gotta say this color, I love this color, and I do like the spin on this yarn. The next ones that I got are like the Karen Lot Latte, Latte Cakes. I got three different colors, but I got them in eight packs. This is a 25% wool. This is a gorgeous color. It's a 25% wool, 35% acrylic, and a 40% polyamide, and it's super, super soft. I've never used the Karen Latte Cakes, so this is also a first for me. But it is super, super gorgeous. It looks super, super soft, and it feels super, super soft. This is a four-weight yarn. Uh, 50 gram balls. These come in 50 gram balls. I got three different colors of these ones because I really wanted to check them out and see what I liked the best. Let's see all those beautiful colors. Now you guys tell me what you think I should make with these. I could use, I've got six, eight, 16, 24 cakes total of these. So I can do them all in separate colors. I can order more of one and get solid colors. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. These are called Huron Techno. I got the blue shades, gray shades, and the pink shades. They were each $5.99 per eight pack, which I think is a really great deal. Oh, here's my scarfy yarn. This is the scarfy yarn that I got thinking I was gonna go that one's split open. It's not thick enough. I think the puzzle yarn is a bulky six, maybe. Or maybe a light bulky six. This is Fantasia yarn in the ice yarns. And the cost is very efficient. Ideas that I got. I wanted the scarf yarn. I found the cakes because they were awesome. And that was a really good deal on them. So for this Fantasia yarn, this is 25% wool and 75% a premium acrylic. 
and it does have that really nice flow from like an ombre it starts as gold this one is gold and black of course but it really just kind of flows into the black with different colors I'll try to make that cardigan out of it and see I'll see what a swatch looks like I'll give you guys that much all right Otherwise, if you know a really great deal on the uh, on the puzzle yarn, let me know. The price on the Fantasia yarn, I got one pack for $5.99. And it comes with eight of these balls, 100 grams each. So for this sweater, for this cardigan that I was hoping to use it for, I've already got this yarn. It's a Heige Huga. I'm not 100% sure how to say it. Somebody tells me all the time, and you can say it down below, and that's cool, and that's great, but I'm gonna forget the next time I talk about it. So I only got eight of these because I really just need the front panels, the back panel, and the hood. And the rest of it, I've already got three of these big balls. So I've got that taken care of. I'm just looking for the next piece of it. For this all, I got um, three packs of the Huron, which is 24 50 gram balls. I got four, I got four packs of the Fantasia because I wanted to see exactly what it was like. And that was also $5.99 a pack. The Cakes Air was $13.98 for four balls. And these balls have 200 grams in them. So 360 meters, I would say about 400 yards. It is a four weight yarn. Definitely, let's figure out something to do with this. Give me some ideas, you guys, because I need a little bit of inspiration going on. I've been working on these sweaters and the shawls that I showed you, so I really want to uh, figure out something that let's make with this. Okay, everybody, I hope I covered all of my bases. I'm not totally sure. You can leave a comment below so that I can do it next time and do the right thing. This is only my second Ice Yarns unboxing. I'm not affiliated with Ice Yarns, but I do like the huge website and the great deals that they have. I spent $58 on this these six packs. So it was a six pack challenge, $20 shipping, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 32 skeins of yarn, which four of them are really large skeins, they're 200 grams. I think that's a great deal, right? So don't forget to subscribe below. You can hit that little button there on the one of those bottom corners. And I will see you guys next time.